YouTube, how's it going? Starting things out a little bit different for this video because I think this video represents the beginning of some change. And so I'm starting out here on my back porch or back deck or whatever you want to call it. It's not exactly a porch, it's a deck. Anyway, enough quibbling. The whole idea is that there is some serious change going on here. Right now, as I speak, it is day five since I've had a cigarette. I have to admit, last night and again this morning, I tried. There were several times I lit a cigarette, just expecting to have that cool menthol taste course through my veins and just give me the uh, pleasure that it always has. But it didn't work. Uh, and it's just the taste. It's just something I can't begin to describe to you. But it's not something I want to taste again. I'll tell you that. So I think that I may actually be quit. I'm not going to call them right out to say that I am definitely quit. Because that's never a good thing. That's the stuff that famous last words are made of. But I'm going to continue just going with it, you know. If cigarettes don't taste good, I'm not going to bother with them. That was my big thing about cigarettes all these years, is I enjoyed them. I liked them. I loved a good smoke. And if I don't enjoy it, I'm not going to do it. Because I'm all about comfort and what I enjoy. And if I don't enjoy a cigarette, I'm not going to do it. It's a waste of time and money. And so, another reason, <coughs> excuse me, another reason I'm doing this out here is I wanted to kind of change up from my usual in the studio in front of my green screen thing all the time. So now I'm in front of the, in the backyard in front of this um, red wall at the back of the house. So I changed green for red. <laughs> anyway. There is some changes going on. I'm still not quite back to normal from the hospital. For one thing, my uh, GI tract is not quite up to snuff. Uh, I know this probably seems like too much information to some, but others will say, hey, you know, I understand that. I've been there. And that is that uh, it seems that no matter how many times I go to the bathroom, it always feels like I still got more to do. And this is that thing you have after you've been in the hospital throwing up and not eating hardly anything. And you've been on a liquid diet for most of the time you're there. And uh, the whole GI tract is empty. And it's reacting that way. And it's going, oh man, will you please do something about this? And I try to. That's another thing. My appetite's changing. I sat down last night to have me some rice aroni for supper. And I didn't do anything I normally do not do. I didn't go out of out of uh, normality in any way. I just sat down, I made up some rice roni, and I made myself one little bitty my rice roni sandwich. And I mean little bitty one because I took one piece of bread, put rice roni in it, and folded it over. Now if I was going whole, whole hog, I'd have take, took that piece of bread, I'd have hooved it up over top, and then I put another piece of bread on top of it, smushed it down, and that had been a real sandwich. No, I took that one little bitty sandwich. I took three bites out of that sandwich, and I was full. I couldn't eat no more. But what the heck is with that? Again, it's probably this whole thing with the not eating much or at all or, you know, and all that stuff. We'll see how things even out in the future. But as it stands right now, there is a serious potential for some change going on here. And now I will cut to something else that I don't know what it is yet.
thing about editing gameplay video is the hard part is deciding what bits to keep and what bits to get rid of. Now some of the bits that are really boring are easy to get rid of. But then there's bits that, you know, maybe they add to the story. Maybe they uh, continue things on a little bit. Or provide a little bit of background for future episodes and so on. So it's kind of hard to say what you want to get rid of. Because once you get rid of it, you can't bring it back, really. Unless you keep it for flashback footage or something. And uh, with this Remembering Beta series especially, I want to kind of stay as close as I can to the same feel as the original Coast Quest series, even though I don't intend to even try to duplicate it. And so here I am with 30 minutes of footage, trying to figure out, am I going to use all 30 minutes of this footage, or am I going to be slicing and dicing bits of it out? We'll see. Continue this cave exploration in the next episode. Take it easy. And that's how something that you started out to do as a 15 or a 20 minute episode turns into a 30 minute episode because you're looking through the whole thing for a clean stopping point. You're looking for that clean stopping point where you can stop the video, stop the recording, and say, this is the end of one episode and the beginning of the next. And sometimes you don't find that as soon as you would like to. Sometimes you don't find it to where it's going to fit into your 15 or 20 minute episode ideas. And uh, this episode ended up being... 30 minutes just because of that because I couldn't find a single clean stopping point that would let me stop it with uh, and be able to pick it up in the next episode and still make sense it just didn't work so here we are episode 4 of Remembering Beta titled Platform of Doom which was uh, footage that I had actually recorded last Friday. And I had started to edit Saturday, and got busy, and... No, I had recorded it Saturday, excuse me. Started re recording it Saturday, and started to edit it Saturday night, Sunday morning, and that's when I started to get sick. But now it's finally edited, and I can go ahead and get this ready. Well, and now for a little bit more of this average everyday stuff that some people have wanted to see more of in my videos. Well, here you go. A load of laundry going into the machine. A load of very overdue laundry, I might add. And, uh, yeah, it's a mess. And, yeah, that's not a washing machine. That's a microwave, a dead microwave, an old, worn-out microwave, which is one of the many things that I have in this house that, for some reason, I've never gotten rid of. This thing hasn't worked uh, worth using in uh, quite some time. It has been replaced with a new unit I got for Christmas. And uh, I still have it sitting here, taking up space on top of the dryer. Why am I doing that? I have no idea. But it's one of the things that needs to go away. And now, I think it's time to get some ice water and sit outside. Now, some of you ask, what is a tinfoil chef sitting in a carport drinking ice water? Well, because he has too much sense to go out and sit in the sun. It's too freaking bright and hot out there. I mean, it's like 95 in the shade here. Ain't no way I'm going out there. I mean, I, know, I may live in Nutjob Hills, but please, I'm not a native. <laughs> I got more sense than to go out there in the sun to sit. Why am I out here? Seriously, I got tired of being inside. It's not something I've had happen very often. 
I don't usually get tired of being inside, but ever since I got home from the hospital, the whole house just kind of reeks. And I'm going to have to clean the whole house to get rid of that. And until I do, my preferred habit of being an interior hermit kind of person that never goes out, never goes anywhere unless he absolutely has to, is going to have to be kind of by the wayside because there are times when I just have to get outside, get away from that because it's driving me nuts and I can only do just so much at a time. I am not going to push myself and end up back in the hospital because I tried to do too much. So here I sit in the cardboard with a bottle of ice water waiting on the laundry to run so that I can take what's in the machine and hang it out there on the line and the few bits that are still on the line from this morning bring those in and put them away and that'll be one more step along the way of getting everything all cleaned up. Now you may have noticed that, uh, well I'm sure that astute viewers will have noticed that so far all the shots inside of my house have been very carefully set up and they have been very carefully set up because I've decided that there's just so much that I'm willing to show until I get the place cleaned up because well it's like this back in December 2008 when my wife died things were none too pretty to begin with I mean, there was years and years of clutter and so on. And then there was about six months worth of things just piling up and getting worse and worse because uh, more and more time was spent dealing with her health and her needs and whatnot. And then there was a whole month in the hospital. And, uh, and then she died. And I spent a good two years not giving a flying crap about anything. I uh, I didn't clean anything up. I didn't pick anything up. If I washed something, it was because I needed it. And if I put something away, it was because I actually wanted to be able to find it again sometime soon. Most of the time, if I took something off, I threw it on the floor. If I threw something away, if it didn't hit the garbage can, I didn't care and so on. And the result of this is it's piled up for a good two years before I started trying to do something about fixing that. And that didn't go so well. The trying to do something about it thing. I'd get a little bit of progress and then there'd be one reason or another either real or imagined or made up or just really really freaking convenient for a lazy person that didn't want to do it uh, take your pick but there was always some reason that got me off of doing what I needed to be doing and it just kept falling behind again but this time I am determined it's not going to fall behind again this time it's going to actually happen this time this thing is actually going to get done right and over time, as these videos progress, you'll get to see more of the house. After I've gotten the damage down below, oh my God, somebody actually lived in that. You know, I have a little bit of pride, and at least anyway. Well, meantime, I think I've had about enough of a break from the smell of inside. It's too freaking hot out here. I'm going back in where the same people live. You remember the video I was editing earlier? Episode 4 of Remembering Beta? Well, I finished editing it, and I finished rendering it. And now for anybody that's wondering why it's taking forever for it to show up on YouTube, well, I would say that you can blame YouTube. This is the third attempt to upload it. I don't know what's going on with YouTube and the ability to upload larger files these days, but I never used to have this kind of problem. Now I seem to have it all the time on anything longer than 100 megabytes. What the heck is with that?
Well, there you have it. Sort of. Uh, the video that I was trying to upload yesterday now, that did finally eventually get uploaded because I finally found the uh, quote-unquote basic uploader, which is really basically the really old-fashioned ancient uploader that YouTube used a long, long time ago that is actually still there if you look in the right place. It worked. The first try. Uh, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a progress bar to let you know how far along the upload is, but it worked, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, after that, I got distracted on something, actually a couple of other things, and didn't get back to this project until early this afternoon. It's like uh, quarter to three right now. And I've gotten the editing done on most of this video. And I'm just putting this little bit of a clip on here to kind of bring it to a clean close. And I know there is uh, there was some problems with camera angles and some lighting issues and so on. But things will get better. I know things will get better because I've already got a few ideas for how to improve things next time around. And like for example today, I'm not shooting this scene outside because it's too bleeding hot out there. And I discovered yesterday, one of the things that I discovered when I was doing some of my outside time, not the recorded stuff, was that uh, if I spend too much time outside, I start to itch. And it's like the hives or whatever is coming back. So I'm not staying outside any more than I absolutely have to. You know, ugly smell in the house or not, it doesn't matter. I don't want that hives thing again, so I'm staying out of the hot weather. It's just, that's not an option. I'm not going to do that. So, like I said, there's ideas, uh, technical issues, and maybe a few other things and so on. And there will be more progress on the, uh, the great TFC house cleanup, as it were, that uh, really I should have started and finished well over two years ago. And, uh, <laughs> but I I'm getting to it, and it's happening. And so, I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, leave comments, favorite, and all that good stuff. Really appreciate that. It all really, really does help. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to, because there's going to be a lot more of these kind of videos. It won't necessarily happen every day. I mean, they might, but I'm not going to guarantee that. That way it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. And uh, so on. So, you like the video, subscribe, rate, comment, favorite, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, be sure to tune in for the next episode of Beyond the Foil. Take it easy. I'm out of here.